So let's see here the aim and application of uh, experiment today. So here we are applying star delta for an impedance to find impedance and resistance for the given circuit. So sometimes we need to know the equivalent of the given circuit. Uh, it will be easy uh, uh, when you learn star delta and apply the same. We have some gate problems also. So it will be probably some 2 to 3 marks out there. It will be helpful to crack gate also. So let's see to so move on uh, further to see the theoretical calculations. So this is your aim using series parallel combination technique and star delta to find the impedance or resistance for a given circuit. So as we have seen in first experiment, we will connect an ampere, one ampere to find its equivalent. So theoretical calculations. So we can start at any point, convert any delta to star or any star to delta. So there is no single point. Uh, for example, uh, what I will be using is you can convert uh, uh, this 10, 20 and 30 as in delta to its star. Okay, I will be doing this. But you can also try converting this 10, 20 and 5 in star to delta. Okay, Or else you can convert this 20, 15 and 5 in delta to star. So there is no single point like where you have to start, where you have to end. So any delta to star or delta star to delta you can use for transmission. So as told I will be using 10, 20 and 30. So between these three junctions. So let's use this uh, 10, 30 and 20 for transformation. So here we will have uh, the equivalent star. So RA, RB and RC. The formula for RA or we converting the equivalent delta to star. So RA is given as 10 into 30 whole divided by 10 plus 20 plus 30 that is 60. Right? So RA is equal to 10 into 30 whole divided by 10 plus 30 plus 20. So as you solve, we get the value as 5. Similarly for RB, when we solve, it is 10 into 20 whole divided by 60, we get 3.33 and similarly RC, we get as 10. So now how do we do the next step? We eliminate the delta and retain the star components. Now, so you can observe here, as we eliminated 5 and 25 are in series, RB that is 10 by 3 and 5 are in series, RC 10 and 15 are in series. Right, and this is its R equivalent, that is 30, 25 by 3 and 25. Right, now 25 by 3 and 25 they are in parallel. We get the answer as 6.25. Okay. Now, so 6.25 and 30 are in series. We get the R equivalent as 30 36.25 across AB. Right. So this is your theoretical calculations. Now, the same thing has to be simulated in P spice and get the same result. So as discussed, we connect a 1 ampere, 1 ampere current source to simulate and find the voltage across it. So let's see circuit connection in P spice. Simulate in P spice and check our output. So let us see the components required. So as we have only linear elements, that is only resistance required. We have six resistance required, and as we are aware, we do not have a ohmic meter. We use the ratio of V by I. So we need a, 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 a DC current source of one, one and one common ground. So these are the only parts required for simulation. So let us uh, simulate the circuit in P spice and check the result. So as discussed, the parts required are 6 resistances. So let us type the part name as R and let us place according to the diagram. Use control R to rotate your element and place accordingly. So we have 6 resistances and we need one current source. I type the part name as IDC. Use control R to rotate and place the element. Then you can press escape button as we do not require as we do not require more than one. Then type the part name EGND for the ground. We need one. So you can again after pressing one, for clicking one you can press escape button. 
Now click on zoom to fit. Now this appears zoomed in, so it's clear to view. Now right, using your connecting wires, let us connect it. Now that we have connected, now let us name them or enter the bias. This is 25, this is 10, and the upper one is 30. This is 20, this is 5, and this is 1, 5. And as discussed, let us give 1 amp current. And let us connect the ground terminal. Now, as we have done that, as we have connected, let us save the file. I have saved in a folder called EF2, a second experiment. Now, if go to set, set up analysis, click on transient as this is DC. We need not enter the data for transients as the value of voltage remains constant or current remains constant throughout the time. So as, as we know we are not using ohm, oh, any ohmic meter let us take voltage drop and using the ratio V by I one can find the value of voltage and in the intern in turn we will get the value of resistance. So now let us simulate the result. Now here you can see it says pin number that is for the value R3 as floating so this means that you can see here it is not connected right so let us use control W and connect the wire save the file now let us simulate to see the results now you can see by clicking toggle cursor you can find the value yes we have calculated as 36.25 we have also got the output as 36.25. So we can write down the simulation result as 36.25 ohms. Although we know this is voltage, you can see on a y axis, although we know this is voltage, but we know that using V by I, that is 36.25 by 1, right, you get the value of resistance. Thank you.